a shout out to G Holla and S. Hey, G Holla, G dot Holla. Hero, G E Holla. Shout out to me to God here, man. Well, y'all said in Taylor, shout out my God, G Holla. <laughs> Rocking right out with oh, G Holla. Thank you so much. Shout out to G Holla, reaching 1 million listeners on his podcast. When you go to work on your 40 hour job, you got to punch a chronos clock. If you don't punch in in the beginning and punch out at lunch and punch out at the end of the day for two weeks, then you go to your job and say, hey, I, I forgot to punch in, but I was here. You think the job won't give you a check? No, they're not. You got to read your contracts. You got to sign your contracts. You got to be able to understand your contracts. It is not my responsibility to keep calling you seven times a week. Hey, did you sign your contract? Did you get that contract? That's just your money. That's your money. So I go through a lot of that, G, but, you know, it's going to get better. <laughs> hey, you hit in my pockets, I'm going to hit yours. <laughs> it's sad. Oh, man, come on, man. Golly, it's a, it's a, and you got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. What you going to do with it? Oh, I haven't had time to read it, but I'm here to shoot the film. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let you shoot the film. Man. Uh, boy. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gee, I'm telling you, this is a what? different game, a different world for me. I understand. You know? um, do you work with, uh, those sound like, are those non-union actors and union actors? What's the difference? Do you Have you had a chance to work with uh, both of them? I got both. Okay. Union actors, SAG actors or whatever, they read their contracts, they sign their contracts, they get their contracts back to you because they're used to doing contracts. They're used to doing VH1, BET. They're used to doing these major movies. Non-SAG actors, hey, they do a lot of free films. I just want to get in the film. They don't, they don't know about a contract. They don't know about a contract. I had 50 people on my set in the movie, 30 signed their contracts. Yeah, 30 signed their contracts, the rest didn't. And then when you don't get your money, you got somebody calling me that I don't even know. Hey, man, I just want to know when she's going to be able to get that money. Who is you? Oh, you know, I'm just, I'm just a representative. Did you get the contract? Well, no. Okay, well, I, I'm not paying you or her. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what she's what she supposed to get paid. She didn't sign the contract. But it falls, it, it, but then it, it, they, they try to make it, then they want to talk about you, say stuff bad about you. Oh, he don't want to pay you. Pay. Half of us got paid, half of us didn't. Tell the people why you didn't get paid. Oh, okay, I forgot to sign my contract. I forgot to read it, and I didn't turn it in. But I stepped on the set and did the film. They're going to say, oh, okay. How are you supposed to get a check? That's <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it's, 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 and it's always the non union actors. And I try to put as many non union actors on as much as possible. But the professional people, oh, bro, they contract assigned, dated. If you if I give you a contract, G, and it says at the top and it's blank, it says, I need your name, I need your address, I need the last four of your social for SAG, I need your email. And you forget all that and you just sign the bottom and send it back to me. I'm not gonna, and I've told you three times. After that, I'm done. I, I gave you a courtesy of calling you and telling you three times. You ain't got never. Put somebody send me a contract. You ain't got never worried about me not signing and sending it back. That's right. But that's that's the business that they don't know, and that's the business that you have to teach them. And everybody wants to be an actor. That's cool. Everybody don't make it as an actor, but it starts off with your contract. You think he's going to step on a Warner Brothers set and your contract not signed? No, you not. Really? They're going to escort you to the gate. Tyler <laughs> Perry, too. They, they probably oh, yeah, walking yeah. around on set with the contract. Uh, we, we ain't got hey. your signature right here. Fill this out. Yeah. <laughs> I heard Tyler Perry. I ain't know for sure, but I heard Tyler Perry, when he bring you in for a movie, he don't let you leave to the movie done. And that's, that's, that's kind of good. But he got the bread to do that, too. Put you up and all that. But I bet your contract is signed when you're working with that man and everybody else. I love Atlanta. I'm putting all the actors I can together in Atlanta. This is actually the majority of the actors that's in Do or Die is from Atlanta. Hmm. You know, 
But, you know, so what I did to help out, I said, well, you know what? I'm going to up my process a little bit. So now what I did, Eagle Entertainment put together a, uh, it's like an actor's module where you have to sign up for your audition, do your audition. And then when you make your audition, we send you NDA. They sign that. So you don't even get the script until you sign the NDA and all that. And then until your contract and everything is signed. Do you know I had the majority of the actors call back time about when I'm getting the script, but nobody signed the contract? It's business. I keep telling them it's not personal, it's business. And then you got people that want to go around, that want to go around the back end of the circle too, G. They'll be like, okay, well, I talked to Ego. I'm a, I know Sway personally, so I'm a I'm gonna call Sway. Yeah, what's what's going on? Hey man, I was wondering if I could get that role, man. I, I ain't I ain't signed that contract. And you gotta you gotta contact the booking people, the the casting agency. Oh, man, okay. I guess I gotta call them back then. You know, it's like that. So, you know, but, you know, <laughs> man, man, especially when you, it only happens when you reach a certain level, G. So now that I'm getting there, it's like, okay, here they come. I got all these people knocking at my door now, especially the ones who laughed at me, didn't think it was going, that it wasn't going to go. And now they see the movie premiere and out and everywhere and all day, like, you did it, y'all. Dang, we should have been there. That's what it is now. Well, and what, I still give, I still give them a role, huh? Yeah, yeah, no, no, good. What you said, you still give them a role. I, I, I still give them a role. I still let you audition, but I ain't gonna give you the job because mm-hmm. you didn't sign up. You, you couldn't make the first one. How are you gonna make this one? That's true. You, you didn't make. It's gonna be the same thing all around. The only difference is that I'm probably gonna be in whatever state I'm in, and you there, and you probably can't make it then. You know. Especially when you're getting paid, G. You getting paid. I had a lady turn down six hundred dollars a day. Still couldn't make the airplane flight. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Where, where are you gonna go other than scamming? You gonna make six hundred dollars a day? Doctors don't even make six hundred dollars a day. Some of them just depend on you know what type or whatever. But where you where you gonna go? Especially <laughs> non-union. <laughs> non-union, especially no real non-union. But Man, you know, that, that that's wanna, more than what some people make in two weeks after taxes after their job. Put upon when you work, you might work at one of these fast food joints. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Everybody, you know, everybody it, it, walking away like that. And it depends on your status too, because if you're SAG, SAG has a, a certain rate that you have to go by. If it's a SAG film, now if it's now if it's a non-union film, then you have to go on what the prices on what the producer or director have. It, it, either you take it or you don't. You know. But I've had no problems with do or die getting no contract signed because I changed up the status on how to do it. So I had, so I even had, I even had to up my game up, you know, instead of and 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 limited access to G. I had to limit the the access to me. I had too many people that had access to me, and I had to limit that. So now that's why I got the agent. If you need to reach me, there's a phone, a business phone number. You can't just dial my phone number no more. That's that's out. So. Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. You know, it's like, you know, you can't have everybody calling your phone. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? That's how I talk to them. But I was used to doing everything myself, G. I didn't have no agent. I didn't have managers. I didn't have people to do production team, do stuff for me. I was doing it all myself. So that's why everybody had direct contact with me. So now I have a casting guy. Now I have ego entertainment and stuff like that and camera crew. So now you talk to them. You, you see me when I hit the set, but that's about as far as it gets. Mm-hmm. For for certain actors. Now the ones that was there with me from ground up, Will Coleman the third, uh Will Wilmore, uh Tabitha, uh Nadine, um, Brian Perry, Christian Rockets, you know, people like that, Yolanda Gillum, they they have my phone number. So, you know, people that rocked with me from the beginning, I'm I'm gonna take them with me. Can't take everybody, but I can take some. No, that's solid, man. That, that's some solid yeah. work. How, how did you yeah. feel when the um when the, they went on strike for those few months? How did that work well, out? <laughs> well, it might have been bad for them, but it actually helped me. Hmm. And the reason why it helped me because they was on strike and they gave the independent people, companies like mine, up to be able to flourish through that because the independent movies took over 
when you couldn't when the SAG actors couldn't rap because you know it wasn't no Aquaman nothing like that out then because it was all everything was on halt. So the independent people made money from 2020 to, to now. It was all about independent because everything with the platforms. You want to see this movie? We can't go outside, put that ticket in there, and people was paying $21, $22 for a regular independent movie like going to the theaters because the platform. That's on that's all we had to do was watch movies. So what I do with my time, I wrote about 10 or 15 movies. Wow. And got myself ready. Uh, did uh, Detectives 313, turned around, did just finish premeditated murder. Now I'm going into do or die. So all these films I'm going to do, it's films that I've written, written over the past two years, just being locked in the house. Wow. So I took advantage of my time, you know. Dude. Not just sitting around, just watching TV, spending money. I took advantage of my time, so that's how it came about. Hey, that's powerful, man, and that's a beautiful message that you that you're delivering to us right now. Because a lot of us, we got the same amount of time in a day, and some people be like, we don't have enough. But uh, how are you organizing your time? How are you constructing what you're doing? We all have time to do anything that we want yeah. when we want to do it. But like you say, it requires some type of discipline to whereas mm -hmm. you got to suffer for now or go without for now to have right. to get the bag and to win in the end. I think what you're yeah. saying is right. A lot of us, that's a hard thing to do is to sacrifice your right now. But if we look at everything in the aspect of real, true spirituality, all you have is the right now. There is no past. There is yeah. no future. It's just you right now what are you going to do to help elevate and change and help that growth like you know it started the foundation of right now yeah and you got you got to be focused too and and relationships you know this field is good but the relationship part and in, in these actors if, if you if you're not with if you're not like denzel or some of those guys that that came up with their wives and and, and made it through and you start like now relationships is hard man because now it, it then turned into a money game it's not about I love you anymore. I'm a, it ain't no more ride or dies. It's all about how I'm going to get the bag from you, how I'm going to get this baby out of you to get these 18 years of child support, how I'm going to sue you. Everything is it's like that. Nobody wants to go out and work, bro. Nobody wants to work. You know, I even have respect for the OnlyFans people that have their own pages. A lot of people might not like it, but you know what? It's theirs. They ain't robbing nobody. They putting up their own content. And if you want to buy, that's on you to buy but they making their own money. And half of them probably still got jobs too. I, I, my day is split so bad. This is how my day goes. I wake up in the morning. I do two, 300 pushups. I drink my smoothies and stuff. I go to work. I work my time at work as a director of engineering. And after that, I come home. I hit the gym for two hours and I'm in, I'm in my script. On the weekends, I'm dead. I'm into the business. Before that, when it was locked down with COVID, man, it was just nothing but writing every day. What I'm going to do? I can't go outside? What, call a girl over here so I can catch COVID and spend all my money on her? No, I don't got the bag for that. I ain't got the bag for it. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go get my bag. I'm a hustler. I'm from the D. I'm going to go get my bag. How am I going to get the legal money? It's easy to get the, the unlegal money, but how am I going to get the legal money? Create a podcast. Do what you do. It's going to take time to get to where you at, but start off at the bottom. It's going to take small time to get where I am, but start. But you got to have connections and ask questions. If you ask questions and if you meet somebody like me or you, we'll show you. We'll show you if you're serious enough. If you're serious enough, we'll show you. But you got to be serious enough for us to show you. No, no, you're right. That and what you said is fundamentally true. You can't come into something uh, for the fame or just, just for the money. I know the money is part of the glory, but you're right. You're coming in yeah. there just so you can shine and look good. Those intentions are all wrong and the universe ain't going to bless you like that. Or God or whatever no. you want to call it. It's not going to put you in that position for you to get to that next step. It's going to only feel or feed your ego at that level. And you're right. You you yeah. don't want that. You don't want your ego fed. You want your belly fed. Right. You tell the truth. Right, right. Got to get, got to give it to them right, man. And they, they said, "Why you always got to give it to me straight? Why you can't sugarcoat? It? If I sugarcoat it, then you ain't gonna get it. You gonna get diabetes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you 
<laughs> that you yeah. that you insulin resistant. You 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 don't you don't need that. You don't need no. You don't yeah. need nothing watered down. You don't need nothing man made Nothing. process. You man no. feed me like the earth feed me. How about that? <laughs> yeah, got it. Got it. Got to give it to him like that, man. And and that's that's one thing. Be honest. And I give it to him raw. I talk to him. This is what's gonna go down. This is how it's got to be. And you got to be focused. You're not gonna make it. I'm I'm trying. I'm trying to get to the Black Panther. I'm trying to get to some of these mm-hmm. Aquaman movies, stuff like that, because I'm 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 there now, you know. So that's where I'm trying to go. Until then, I'm gonna keep keep going and keep going strong, you know. You know, you, and, and bro, you doing you doing a good job, man. You know, I I see you in that that murder mystery space. You know what I'm saying? I like to yeah. see you. Um, I like to see you make some movies, like you know, like like Marvel and and, and DC and all that. Create a new black superhero. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Because yeah. Black yeah. Panther don't belong to us. That's that's something that they made. You know what I'm saying? We need. Oh we got my our, god! Black Panther right here. <laughs> that's what I told him. That's what I told him. I said, y'all, y'all all on the Black Panther. The actors is great, but the film that ain't us, bro. We can make that. <laughs> they made that so we can buy it. That's what they did. You know who the Two real million. true hero and the very first Black Panther is? It, it is the white guy that's the CIA. Now, now think about this now. The CIA actually killed the real Black Panthers, but the CIA agent in the end of part one where the sister gave him the thing to shoot down yeah. the missiles, he was yeah. the real true hero of the film in the end. Did, didn't even die. Didn't even die. They didn't let my man get past Black Panther 2 before they killed him. And Come he was on, the man. best thing in the movie. Michael B. Yeah, Jordan. The best thing in the movie. The best, <laughs> best thing in the movie. They should, Michael, G., Michael B. Jordan should have been back in the film. He, I think he should have, you know, because I don't think he was dead. I think they should have brought him back and let him take over. You know? So, but they let old girl take over. I think she did okay. But, you know, I think it would have did better with Michael B. Jordan. That's my opinion, you know. So no, no, no. I, 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 I'm agreeing with you. They say she take over later, but that should have been years down the line, like five, that should have been years. Yeah, you they know should have showed but, her in training. We ain't seen her have none of them skills. We, we ain't seen her train or nothing. She was a Mary Sue, man. She yeah. just a, a scientist in the studio. <laughs> just, just they should have left her right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're right. You're right. Because her character yeah. is supposed to be the one that's supposed to rival Tony Starks and all of them and Reed Richards. She's supposed to be like one of the, or no, excuse not one, the smartest person in the Marvel yeah. universe. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But no. Yeah. yeah. But hey, 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 Iron Man coming back. Why do you think they're bringing Iron Man back? Because yeah. none of y'all, y'all can't pull it off. So, so now they got to bring the man back. You know, so it's supposed to be an Iron Man coming out. He's supposed to be in one of the next Marvels or something like that, you know. But it's what it is, man. It's like, and then you got to protect yourself in this industry too, man. You got you got to protect yourself because, you know, I, I, I'm not I'm not going to none of these parties. I ain't drinking what nobody give me. I don't need to snort nothing. I don't need no woman. I'm here for the bag. You know, and, and a lot of us get caught up like that. You know, we 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 start out with the sister, and we we make it, and then we make it to the top. We ain't with the sister no more. Well, what what happened to what happened to the sister? You know, that's and that's how that's how it happens to us, man. I'm gonna stay sister strong. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm gonna call it. Sister strong. <laughs> hey, I'm with you. I'm, I'm sister strong too. We need to get us a T-shirt. Make go make that shirt. I get me one. I'm sister, sister strong. strong. That's, yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I, I I ain't that thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I ain't that I don't thirsty. Meet you in no back room. I don't need to sit on no couch. Nah, no, nope. I'm, I'm good. No. I got I, the same I, thing at the crib. I got the same thing at the crib. I got to come to the parties. Mm-mm. You got to protect yourself, man. So that's that's my thing. Is just being aware, you know, and just being aware of being on point, educating myself daily, keep doing my own thing. And if I get blessed to, to get one of these major films, I'm gonna be in it. But you know, it's, it's what it is. Oh, you I don't want be nobody it. saying, I don't want nobody saying Swayed and sold out. Oh, he oh oh he oh he in the Black Panther. Oh, he with the Illuminati now. He he he, he, in, he in the Black Panther. No, I'm not. I'm in here doing a movie. I'm here doing a movie. You know what I'm saying? So it's what it is. I'm always gonna be me. So no, you're right. Hey. You're right. And 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 let's keep real, the original Illuminati. 
is the black man, black woman. That's your pineal gland. That's not your pituitary gland. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They done took stuff yeah. and demonized it and made it seem like yeah. it's something evil and corrupt. But you are the light of the world. There is no other light. You was you yeah. are the original. Yeah. You was here first. Yeah. All these here ideas first. they've stolen. You your ancestors been was doing it. They trying. They just mm -hmm. coming in taking credit for it. They ain't just taking credit weird. for it and change and changing it up, making it theirs. Come on, look, look, look at the character Superman. Hi, L. We know L means sun. You yeah. get he gets powered by the sun. By Come the on sun. now. <laughs> Only melanin gets power powered by the sun. Non-melanin is a regressive recessive gene that reflects, repels the sun. This pulls mm -hmm. in the sun. Exactly. You know how to hear still in this story. And then, like you know, if they have dark black hair or wearing dark clothing, that represents Ooh. black people. That's a movie industry secret. Ooh, they don't want boy. people to know. Well, you don't hear telling it, G. G, you telling it, G. That's why I'm gonna let you say it. <laughs> hey, nobody know that though. Nobody know that, G. Nobody know that. <laughs> We, but you know what? They put it in our face, and we we just run with what they put in our face. We run with we put like the money. Uh, what they say? The root of money. Money is the root of all evil. What they ain't money? Money ain't did nothing. Money is a piece of paper from a tree. Money ain't did nothing to you. It says the lust for money. You doing it? Money ain't got nothing to do with it. Whatever you do with it when you get it, that's that's what happens. You know, you're supposed to get paid for what you do. You're supposed to get paid for your works. So now you're saying we're supposed to do it for free? I'm like, come on, man. Nah. They, we, we did that 400 plus years. Nah, that ain't work yeah. out. Yeah. That, 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 that didn't work out then. It ain't going to work out now. You know? <laughs> we got to get paid. <laughs> you you, you so, see what they did with the, with the dude was at Jim Bean Whiskey. They went back and found out the black man really created the recipe for the whole liquor. And they had to end up paying his family lineage because... Like yeah. they took that from him. Hey, the light, light bulb. There ain't no damn white man may come up with no ideal, no light bulb, no Thomas Edison. But that's that stuff they feeding us. They've been feeding us that since we look, come on, man. You got you got to go back and read your history on stuff on how it got there. McDonald's. McDonald's ain't from no white people. Black people came up with McDonald's. It was a black guy, him and his brother. Their name was McDonald's. They sold it because they would they think it was gonna do what it do, or they didn't have the money to put behind it, and them people put the money behind it and blew it up. You know, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Come on now, y'all. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Cook. You couldn't even cook up to there was no Paula Dean back in the day talking about <laughs> herbs and spices. Y'all don't use no herbs and spices. <laughs> hey, but hey, if you don't read or don't know your history, Diala, that's that's what you get. They, they that's what they get, man. So I'm like, you know, whatever. Do what y'all gotta do. Let me do what I gotta do. You know, let God take it from there. And you know, I, I'm. I'm Blessed to have my team. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm blessed from all the whoopings I got when I was a kid from grandma, mom, and daddy. I needed all them whoopings because all them whoopings put me on the right track. G Holler, you know what I'm saying? And the people, the team I got puts me on the right track. You know, so that's what it is, man. It is. What it is. I got, I got, I got a great uh, camera guy. We call him JC. Uh, his name is John. He's, he's, he's part of my production team now. Great cameraman. You see the if you go on my website, viewlinemovies.net, you'll see it. Watch the movie. You'll see how the camera came out. Uh Ego Entertainment. We had a great camera guy. We had a great director. Uh, but Ego Entertainment put it all together, man. My actor friends came in and showed out. And it actually everybody, man, that movie, that movie fire. I said, yeah. I said, wait till wait to hit the platform. Wait till you hit the platform. It's, it's gonna be crazy. So yeah, yeah. Hey man, you, you and, don't and, mm -hmm. I'm trying. And G Lock, you you putting out there, G. I went to your uh your pages, man. I was like, this dude. So you gotta be fly like that on the on the red carpet all the time. <laughs> I'm like, man. I said, I'll make it to the red carpet with G Allah. I'm I'm going fly. Cause he ain't gonna do me like that. <laughs> I said, this I man. Heard, I I already know you still competition. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to see what's in your closet. Man. We need to go on a, a cribs tour in your closet. <laughs>
I know it's something man. serious. Man, man, I, I keep it going. I said, this man gonna make me pull out the Gucci. I got to pull out the Gucci, the Armani. I can't just go see him with nothing regular on. I said, this man, you built your crew up to a million followers to three million to seven million? Dude, dude, people don't understand what you put into to get to where you at, man. That's hard work, man. Hard work. I know plenty of people that ain't on that level yet. That's hard work, man. You blessed, man. You blessed. And it ain't over. It, it, dude, this, it's just, you, you just on the little tip of the top. It ain't over, man. It ain't over. Seven million? Psh, yeah, give it a couple more years. See you at about maybe 32 million followers, man. Yeah, because you know too many people, man. Everybody give you shout outs. Your show number one, man. So, you know, I, I subscribe to it and I, I, I'm following now. So I was like, yeah, yeah. I was stuck on it, looking at it today. Like, dang. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, you the man, G Holla. So, yeah, nice. I was excited all day, and I, said, yeah, I can't wait to see him, man. I see his pictures and everything. Because when she said your name, I was like, oh, no, no, G Holla. But then when I seen your face, I was like, oh, man. See, everything is by face. You know, yeah. everybody don't know your name, but they know you by face. They know you by yeah. face, man. Hey man, so, I appreciate yeah. it, man. You and, and you, oh, you're oh, super definitely. cool too, too, brother. Man, I'll check you out too as well. Man, I said this brother is dope right here. I'm glad I linked in when I saw your name up on the board to get in to get, get yeah. an interview. I'm glad you accepted too, because oh, we yeah. need to see black men like you, my brother. It, it's too many brothers out here that don't know. You people, people might not believe it. Many, many black people don't know you can go and be a director. Everybody don't mm -hmm. have to go and rap. Everybody's not going to mm -hmm. be a basketball player, football player. I wish you well. I mm -hmm. hope you make it. But you already know that industry is so tiny. Ooh. But doing what you do, we can create more and tell our stories without it being interrupted by other coaches or other investors and sponsors yeah. telling us what yeah. we need to put out. Mm -hmm. We need yeah. more brothers like you, man. We really do. That's why I'm glad that you exist and that you're in this world right now right. in this time frame where we ain't got to go look in no book. Or go to no museum, or go. Yeah. Oh, this Black History Month Sway lived in nineteen thirty. No, this brother is right here, twenty twenty four. We can learn yes, so much from you. You are a walking library. They say that when an elder don't mean you got to be old. An elder mm -hmm. when they die, it is like a museum or a library being burnt to the ground. Brother, you are a walking digital museum that we can learn from. You are Thank a university. You. That's just my Thank thing. You. Thank you. Thank you. But I was scared at first because when I did <clears throat> when I did my first film, I was like, man, is they gonna accept me when I do my film? Because it's all black films and you know, you don't see no black people falling in my films when they getting chased through the woods by a killer. You know what I'm saying? Everybody fall, G. How come everybody gotta fall? Is everybody slipping on something? I'm like, no, that ain't how it's supposed to go, man. Then I said, you know what? You gotta do your own. And I got into it because my brother said, Maybe you need maybe you need to shoot a movie. So you know what? Maybe I do need to shoot a movie. I do. I shot my first movie. Everything ain't specific. my first movie was a failure. And when I say failure, it ain't a failure because of the actors and the people. It was a failure because I didn't I, I didn't know everything I needed to know. But I learned from it. I learned you need these type of cameras. You need sound. You need lighting. You need some, you need B or A class actors. You know, you, you need that. You can't come in there with your homeboy down the street smoking a joint and tell him I need you to be an actor. It ain't gonna work like that, you know? So I, I put, so I said, well, I'm gonna do it. So then when I shot it, and going back to relationship, the relationship I had at the time was, oh, that movie ain't gonna do nothing. And you know what, Giala? I almost said, you know what, forget it. You're right. What am I doing? But something in my head, something, boy, you better, better go shoot your movie. She probably ain't gonna be here. She ain't here. I did my move and it blew up. Mm. Boom. All over international. 80 plus film awards. It was probably more. You know what I'm saying? I was number one for 52 weeks for a whole year. You know, did I get three diamond awards? Did I get a gold? Best film, best writer, best uh, choreographer, best photography. I'm like, what? My film? Yeah. I didn't think it was going to do nothing, so I didn't even make it to the movie premiere. Guess who was at my movie premiere? Who was uh, that? Uh, Mr. Rodriguez uh, and, and uh, 
uh, Fast and the Furious. Oh, Maybe Michelle Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez was there. I got pictures of her. Michelle Rodriguez and Vin Diesel. They hosted it. I didn't go. Because I didn't think it was going to do nothing. Oh. No, God, God turned it around and blew up. You know, so, you know, that's what it is. Yeah. Now I'm in but, the rough, boy. Yep. Just, just, just got to go. Don't listen to what nobody tell you. Oh, that movie ain't nothing. That book ain't nothing. That business you finna put up ain't gonna do nothing because you got. Why would you? Why would somebody buy your chicken compared to going to Popeyes? That's that's the stuff we hear. You got to believe in your product because my chicken is seasoned better. It's fried better. My movie is better because I wrote it like this. I'm going on this scale. It don't matter if it costs fourteen hundred, three million, seventeen million to make a movie. If you do it right and put it out there, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. No, you're right. Even when you look back, you look at people like Master P when he did Unbowed It, man. Even now, you look at it like they shot that on one of them VHS uh, cameras. You know, there was no real... The one where you flip it over to the side and go like this around the, <laughs> the analog. The analog, not the digital. Because it wasn't no digital. It was analog back then. <laughs> hey, he's 600 million strong today, you know? Hey. Even Snow on the Bluff, man. They made that back in Atlanta back in the early 2000s. They were just in the hood recreating hood stuff. And boom, it blew up. Blair Witch Project back in the day. You remember that one too? They really yeah, shot that one on the oh camera. Oh my God. Too. Did you see the Blair Witch Project? That yeah. sucker was so, hey, it made 50 million. 50 million. And what they do, kept coming out with movies after that. You know, but it wasn't the same. Because the camera you shot it with back then, we know that that's the Blair Real Project. Now, you don't upgrade it to the Reds or the Ari Alexis. It's like, oh, it ain't the same. It ain't the same. You got to stay, however you built it, you got to stay with that look. You know, so that's what it is, man. Y'all got some of the greatest rappers down there. T.I., Ludacris. You know, all the people that come out of there. Come on, man. Do you, you think them people got there about no hard work or listen to somebody tell them. I mean, I mean, how many people you think told T.I., oh, yeah, that, that song okay. And he listened to him. Man, come on. T.I. like, man, get out of here. I'm finna do, I'm finna drop this. Luda just like, I'm finna drop this. And and that's and that's how I go, man. You just gotta keep going with your dream. Let nobody stop your dream, man. Don't let nobody drop your dream. You had 7 million now, you'll be at 32, 32 million viewers in two years. Don't let nobody stop your dream. As I know you with your swag and the way you, I know you ain't. That's why you where you at. That's how we I'm met on this journey, my brother. Through two yeah. like minds, you know what I'm talking about. That understand mm -hmm. like this thing is bigger than both of us, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's bigger than both of us, man. It, you know, and you know, I, I had to I had to start doing my stuff. Well, I had because I wasn't doing uh, other people's films. I was just concentrating on mine. So now I got other films I'm doing that that's not even mine. I got a film I'm in uh, in April called uh, Suicide. I got another one that's coming out. I'm doing Do or Die. Then I got to finish up the Detectives 313. Then I got another, like, uh, I don't know if they want Handsome Dave. I don't know if they want to say it, but it's uh, it's like an evil demon devil movie that I'm playing out. I'm starring in. That's going to be coming out this year. I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm trying to make it where I'm like you, G. Holloway. I, I ain't got to punch a clock and I can sit back and do what I love because I worked hard to build where I am and keep going. No, no, I, I respect yeah. that, brother. I respect you. That's dope. Um, I tell people how they can reach out to the casting company to get booked, hopefully, for some of your films or audition. How Man, do they reach out you, to you? You can reach out to Ego Entertainment. And then it's uh it's ego, uh it's it's ego entertainment net.com. You can reach out to them. She uh they're also agents. Uh, they also have different platforms as far as advertising, uh, network, news. I mean, uh, her name's Lady J. She's she's dude, She's more than what I thought she was, more connected than what I thought she was. So if you want to get down, you can go to Ego Entertainment or you can go to egoentertainmentnet.com, hit her up there, or you can go to my site, Viewline Movies, V-I-E-W-L-I-N-E, movies.net. Check out the film and the work on there. 
you can always contact him, man. The casting company I use, uh, his name is Deron Dumas. Uh, he's out of Atlanta. You can also reach him on his page at Deron Dumas. He's the casting people that I go through for the majority of my films. You can reach out to him as well, man. So I just gave you the, the connects. Uh, we have new movies coming up. We have new casting events coming up. Uh, you book your opportunity and your roles. You know, contact egoentertainment.net.com or Theron Dumas. And, jo and join my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Swade Wilson. It's S-W-A-Y-D-E Wilson. Subscribe, like me, go on there. Uh, friend me. The name of my company is, is Viewline Entertainment. And that's also my uh, Instagram, same thing, Swade Wilson. And go on there. Yeah, I see you right there, G Holla. And uh, just get on there. I have a lot of roles to do. I I even have two leading roles that I need to fill for Do or Die. So if you're in Atlanta and you want to get into the movie world and you want to get some, I have two major roles. Go ahead and hit up egoentertainmentnet.com. Send your stuff in there, or you can hit me up on Viewline Entertainment on Facebook. Or if you want to message me, you can, Swade Wilson on Facebook, and I can direct you to the right people. So <clears throat> I'm here to help everybody. Hey, man, I, I appreciate that, brother. I'm, I'm going to put that out. I'm going to clip this and put this out in the universe for you, too, because um, me thank being you, where I'm you. at, too, it's a lot of actors here that's looking to try to, you know, they need brothers like yourself. They, they need a doorway in. You know how hard it is. Because you spoke about it in it's your hard. journey. It's hard, man. It's, it's hard to get in. Especially if you don't have, if you're not SAG or you are a starting out actor. And one thing I want to say to everybody, stop looking for the bag. Especially if you have an act. Come in, get the experience, get the major role, and it will take you other places. Everything is not about getting paid. You got to put your dues in. Everybody had to put their dues. I put my dues in. G, you put your dues in. Everybody got to put their dues in to get to where they want. It's not about the money. Hmm. You know, everybody worried about the money, they forgetting to sign contracts. You know, <laughs> forget the money, sign the contract, then the money will come. <laughs> and, and what they say is the entertainment business. A lot of people business. Oh my God, you said that so well. <laughs> oh my God. A lot of people don't know the business. They just I want to act. You know, gotta know the business, man. It's gotta know the lingo with the business. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it. No, it's, there's no way around it. And like my, my my man said in my movie, I wrote, ain't no business in business. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that gonna put that on the shirt too, G. Ain't no business in business. Hey, dang, that's right. That's right. That's right. And, and, and when, you, when you look at the mafia, man, that's what they talk about. They be like, it ain't personal, it's just business. You know it's what just, I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's just business. It's just business, man. So that's 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 what it is, man. I'm gonna pour it all out there to them. And, uh, Hopefully, hopefully, G man, I'm I'm, I'm gonna take your word, man, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and manifest it. And uh, the big rose is coming for me, man. It's coming for me. Major oh, success and big rose coming. Remember, they coming. Everything that your heart desires, that your passion, your attention, that your purpose that you put into that energy, because you know all we have is energy. That's words yeah. is energy, thoughts are energy, actions are energy. Your energy is calling upon all the greatness. Everything that you want yeah. is in your aura. You know what I'm saying? You vibrating yes, towards sir. it. It's vibrating towards you. It's standing still. It's waiting for you to elevate yourself so you can just come up and receive it. Like you know, a lot of us haven't elevated ourselves enough for us to be able to receive. But you, brother, you wide open. It's coming. It's, your hands is open. It's open. Y'all going to connect yes, like two two spark plugs coming together. You know what I'm talking about? It's, yes, it's yes, on sir. the way, baby. You ain't got Amen. to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mr. G. Holland. Like I say, man, I appreciate you, man, for having me and you know, spending all this time with me. I probably took up your time. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take up your time, man. But I just I just connect with you, man. And that's, that's, that's what I need, man. Brothers on the same level. Trying to help brothers get to that next level. That we don't have, man. That we don't have. So no, no, you you did not take up my time. I thank you. I'm honored by your 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 presence, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. Thank you for spending time with me too, man. Give me some good wisdom, sure. some good game, some good understanding, man. <clears throat> you put down, sure. I put down on my foundation to secure myself too as well. So I thank you for that. I think we covered everything, man. I think we covered everything. Uh another thing, uh, one last thing is uh the, the the relationship build up with <clears throat> your teams and different sponsors like you 
and other people. A lot of people got to know that it's not all about money. You do for one, it'll come back. It might not come back right now, G. But next year, the year before that, oh, it might come back, you know, two months now. It's all about the relationship. Good relationships gives you the purpose, gives you a good foundation. Without the relationships, there's no foundation. They don't know who you know. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what you, they don't know what this broadcast do or the people you do. But I know that for what I've seen and what I feel, you know, it's going to go a lot better. So foundations and friendship is where it leads to, man. So, and I got your page. I'm going to make sure that you have my phone number where you can contact me anytime, man, anytime. Damn, my brother. When you, and when you touch down in Atlanta, let me know. I should, if I got so, free, I'll be able to come up there and I'll bring my cameras with me. And we could do another yeah. interview. You know, this could be on the spot type of thing. You know what I mean? You could show us yes, around. Yes. Things like that. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. I'm going to love that, man. Hey, this is Sway Wilson. I'm on My Celebrity Life with G Holla. And I'm telling you right now, it was a blast. Peace.